Welcome to another video on our deep learning series and in this series I'm super excited because I'll be finally working out a numerical on uh, backward propagation. This is going to be an end to end walkout numericals using partial derivative using the chain rule uh, for backward propagation. So I can't wait to get uh, excited and um, let's get started on that. All right. So um, we have a data set. So this is the regression problem. We have a data set in which there are two features x1 and x2 predicted um, uh, value um, uh, will be y hat and y is the original value that, which is the label uh, in the data set supervised learning because the data is leveled so example if i put in 7 uh, in x1 and 3 in x2 it's a regressor which predicts a value of 1 in the second pass the it uh, the actual value is uh, 0.98 in the third pass it is uh, 1.72 so y uh, is the label y hat is the predicted um, value okay the usual notation i've defined my neural network uh, two input layers uh, two neurons uh, for one input layer i'm sorry so we have one input layer uh, with uh, two um, two neurons we have one hidden layer again with two neurons and one output layer it's a fully connected layer, which means every uh, layer is interconnected. The neurons are interconnected uh, with each other. And the weights uh, is given here. It's uh, W1 to W6. And I'm reading out the value. Uh, and in case you want to download um, this entire calculations of the whiteboard, uh, check the link um, in the description. So Y1 is um, W1 is 0 0.1. W2 is 0 0.2. W3 is 0 0.1. W4 is 0 0.2, W5 is 0 0.1, W6 is 0 0.2. It would be, I think, more fruitful if you take a pen and paper, pause the video, take a pen and paper, and try to work it out with me, uh, just like a group exercise. All right. So I've dictated out uh, the W1 and W2. Okay. And let's start with the uh, basic formula, and then we'll do the forward propagation, stop, calculate the error, and the backward propagation. I repeat. The in forward propagation will propagate uh, the features, put them over the um, activation functions, get the final y hat after the data is propagated through the entire network through pro forward propagation. Find the loss function. Our loss function is 1 by 2 y hat minus y whole square, which is half of the square of uh, the difference between the predicted value and uh, the actual value, which you can see in this part the network bias i've taken it zero to make the calculations little bit uh, easy okay all right now uh, let's get started so let's frame the first equation so we'll start with the uh, hidden layer so the first um, uh, first value which is coming the sigma value which is uh, which is some uh, sigma of xi wi as you know from forward propagation is h1 i'm here I'm at here h1. It is h1 uh, x1 w1 into x2 w3. Let's see x1 is the input value, and the input value is coming from your data set, which is given by the customer. w1 uh, is the edge weight between x1 and h1 uh, h1, and then plus x2. x2 is again coming from the uh, data set of the customer, and then we have w3. w3 is the uh, uh, x w3. Uh, is the edge weight between x2 and h1 which you can see here similarly we calculate uh, h2 uh, using w2 and w4 which you can see these are the weights uh, which are applicable again i am not telling because the x values are coming from the data set and you have to just see the edge weights which are applicable for x2 uh, h2 so this is the uh, neuron i am talking about and then um, the output of uh, uh, from the activation is h1 hat and uh, h2 hat which means look at this diagram so i have taken all the activation function uh, as sigmoid uh, function uh, just for uh, the sake of uh, uh, clarity in real life probably uh, i would have uh, taken the middle layer as at least relu if this is a, a deeper network but i am not going into that okay so for the sake of clarity because the goal of this video is to derive uh, the values so all the activation functions, be it in the input layer or the output layer, I've taken as sigmoid. So <clears throat> what is H1 uh, H1 hat? So see guys, the the input the input. Uh, imagine this is the this is the hidden layer neuron, which is this one. So there are two inputs which are coming in on this, and there is a sigma which is done from both of this, right? Which is this one, correct? 
So this value is actually coming on H1 and the sigmoid activation of H1 is the H1 prime. So H1 prime is the value which is coming as an output after the sigmoid transformation of H1, right? Similarly, H2 prime is the sigmoid transformation of H2, correct? So, uh, okay, now I hope that is clear. And then we have the next value, which is uh, the Z value, and that is equal to H1 prime into W5, H1 prime into W5 because Z is here, and then H2 prime into W6, both of them go into Z. And these are the initial three sets of formula which we'll be using, okay? Then let's now move with uh, the forward propagation by putting the actual value. Because guys, I have already given you uh, the age weights value, which I have already defined, okay? So H1, let's start with the forward propagation. We are starting with forward propagation. The first thing we need to do is H1. Uh, H1 would be seven. Why seven? Because seven is coming from the data set, as you can see here, okay? Point one, because your weight one is point one, you can see here, and then three, three is here because x2 uh, is three and then point one again because that is uh, w3 point one correct so i get the value of one i do a sigma transformation of the value of one i get h1 prime and that is one divided by e, e to the power of one one divided by one plus e to the power one and the value which i get uh, for uh, h1 prime is point 0.731. So this part is done. Similarly, we do for H2. H2, as you see, is X1 W2 plus X2 W4. Correct? And then I just apply the value, uh, taking values from um, X1 and X2 again from this because we are doing one row at a time, right? It's propagating the values. And the values I get uh, is 2 for um, H2. I do a sigma transformation because it will go through uh, the sigma function, right? H2 prime I need to calculate because that is the output uh, which is coming in. See the output that is coming in is H2 prime and H1 prime, right? And then I get H2 prime as uh, 0.88. Similarly, I calculate the value of Z using the weight of W5, uh, W5 and W6, uh, which is um, given here. And the value comes at 0.24. 9929 uh, 2491 I, I do a z transformation of this value or of z which is uh, the sigma transformation of uh, 2491 and the value i get is 0.561 and this value is actually the y, y hat value which is here see because this is the y hat value that is coming as an output uh, because this is the output which is coming in y hat as sigma of uh, z right so my actual value is coming at 0.561. Uh, my sorry, uh, my predicted value is coming at uh, 0.561, and my actual value from the data set is one because my data set is leveled. So I put it in the loss function, which is there, which is one by two 0.561 minus one. I do some quick arithmetic, and the value I get is uh, 0 0.096. So that is my. Uh, loss function. Just note this is one row at a time. So I'm calling it a loss function. If I do it for the entire data set, it becomes the cost function. That's why I'm not calling it the cost function. Some minor difference. Okay. So I'm still in the loss function. Now I have taken a very small learning rate uh, given by eta as 0 0.01. And I we need to know only one formula. Okay. Only one formula. That is your new weight your new weight is old weight minus learning rate into derivative of loss uh, by derivative of the age weight. That is actually gra gradient descent because in gradient descent, every time you are doing the derivative of loss uh, by derivative of the age weights. Sim it's just similar to linear re regression as well. Uh, because in linear regression, you still do the derivative of loss so you try because we tend to minimize the loss, but instead of age weights, uh, we we have uh, the beta parameters, right? Uh, the beta zero and the beta one parameters. Okay. All right. So uh, this is uh, uh, the equation I need to do. So for if so let's try uh, to find. Um, let's start try to find the new weight because in backward propagation, the goal of backward propagation 
is to update the age weight and that's what the learning happens you had an error right your neural network in the first pass has an error of 0.096 how i am going to make it better i'm going to make it better by propagating this error backwards i'm i'll propagate this error backward and i need to update the age weights why i will update the age weights because you can't update the x values right because that is coming from the data set so the only option left for us is to either we uh, update uh, the age weights or we create a new model altogether and then we try to create a different architecture or activation function so here we'll try to update um, uh, the age weights and then uh, so let's try to find uh, the updated age weight of w5 w of Five, which is uh, this one, okay? Because if I show one, the rest you can derive. Now, this is where the chain rule comes. This is the chain rule. So, our goal is to find the de derivative of the loss function with respect to W five, because we are trying to five uh, find the updated weight of W five. We can rewrite this equation as the derivative of loss with respect to y hat, because the uh, the error. is propagating backwards right so we'll start uh, with y hat and from y hat we'll go to z and from z uh, we'll go to w5 so you can imagine you can think of it the backward propagation uh, is uh, flowing this way okay so the backward propagation is flowing this way so from y hat it is coming here and then it is uh, going there right so the, the direction is backward and this is reflected in the chain rule you can see and this is equal to uh, derivative of loss by the um, uh, derivative of uh, w5 because this and this can cancel out and this and this can uh, cancel out we all know from chain rule right now uh, we have to find these three individual values so the first value which is uh, derivative of loss with derivative uh, of y hat now we have the value of y hat right your y hat value is coming from the uh, loss function which is uh, which is given here 1 by 2 y hat minus y because y hat is present here correct and you need to the trick is look at the denominator guys your your denominator is y hat and out of this which function uh, has <coughs> y hat right this one has y hat so you can differentiate it this function with y hat and the other reason being you are also taking loss in the numerator and how are you calculating loss this is your loss right so you need to derive derive this function right to get delta l uh, you need to use this correct so we do derivative uh, with respect to y hat on the function of this and as you know the 2 will come here 2 2 gets cancelled and it is y hat minus y and we do some arithmetic and the number is 0.4 Uh, 3 9 similarly we calculate the derivative of y hat with respect to z and the only function we have with respect uh, to z is the uh, activation uh, function because it is flowing here now the error propagates here right and we have uh, the sigmoid function and what is sigmoid function we all know that sigmoid is equal to 1 by e, e to the power z sigmoid of z correct so that is what i have written here and then the derivative of sigmoid is uh, i know sigmoid of z and 1 minus uh, sigmoid of uh, z that is the derivative you do the maths and you get uh, 0.246 similarly you find uh, the derivative of z with derivative of w5 again i am doing this three parts uh, from the chain rule see there are 1 2 and 3 and here is 1 2 and 3 three parts of the equation right i am trying to extend it so z again the equation of z we have already found out it is given here and we are deriving with respect to w5 and w5 is here so i will use this equation and you derive this this is a constant so this will be zero you will be left with h1 and then the value of h1 uh, is equal to 1 we have already calculated the the value of h1 as 1 in this step correct now we have got all the values all the three values of uh, dl by d uh, d y hat d y hat by d z and d z by uh, d w5 partial derivative in all cases and then you multiply you put this value in the new equation okay because your your new equation of w5 new is w5 old minus learning rate eta which you have defined as 0.01 and that's the reason i have given 0.01 here and dl by uh, d w5 
we have already calculated which will be the product of equation 1, 2 and 3. So product of 0.439 into 0.249 into 1 and if you do the numbers your new weight uh, will eventually uh, come to 0 0.2079 uh, if you apply it in uh, this uh, equation. So now your previous H weight was uh, W5, W5, uh, your W5 old, okay, W5 old was here, which is 0 0.1 and W5 new in the first backward propagation, first pass of pro uh, backward propagation is 0 0.2079. Now this will continue till till the point we reach uh, the global minimum correct till the point we reach uh, the global minimum and then it will go to the uh, next row so that that will keep on uh, happening all right and then similarly you can also the error from w5 will come here and then it will back propagate for towards w1 and if you need to find out the formula and if you need to uh, find out the updated age weights from w1 which is uh, between hidden layer to the input layer between the hidden layer to the input layer uh, the formula is given here the first part remains constant and then again you have to use the uh, uh, chain rule to go and apply okay so i have done it in this small place and you can you can download the picture and you uh, you can find out that value so i think this was very useful because um, uh, I had actually not seen too many uh, YouTube videos where they had done an entire end-to-end -end, uh, derivation using at least uh, one row. Okay, so I hope this uh, video was useful. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, you can, and if there are any calculation mistakes, because my intention was to let you know about the core concepts rather than uh, calculation mistakes. But there could be calculation mistakes. Uh, if there are, you tell me. Uh, I mean the numerical values and uh, to like this video do share it uh, with your friends uh, and colleague to uh, uh, subscribe pre press the bell uh, notification uh, for instant update whenever I post a video and uh, do check out uh, the description for the uh, image of this because uh, then you, you can take it side by side and derive it on a pen and paper and uh, there are also interesting updates uh, and announcements uh, in the description of this video uh, so if you have some free time do check it out thank you so much and i hope it was a good video thank you so much